yo, I forgot to address something. I forgot to clarify something in the previous podcast where I talk about the launch of my new conservative Republican social media site. So, by the way, thanks for tuning in. This is C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. And if you are a true fan of this show, I, we, 495, we most certainly appreciate you. Damn, she is smoking hot. Right here, babe. Right here. Right here. You and me together. <laughs> no, but she looks she looks nice. Um, anyway, so many gorgeous women um abound. But uh yeah, focused like a coherent beam of light, i.e. laser. So the <clears throat> is she gonna back up? Is she gonna go forward? What is she attempting to do here? Maybe I can assist in some manner. At any rate, um, yeah, baby girl, I'm checking you out. What's up? So, uh, anywho, what I what I was saying, man, in the previous podcast was, I said I'm sick of listening to classical music. I need to tell you why I said that. I'm sick of listening to classical music, not because I dislike musical uh, classical music. I'm sick of listening to the motherfucking classical music station because because after commercials they go into they go into NPR they go into NPR and it's all this liberal fucking shit. So yeah man, so what I was saying was that man, when you listen to the classical fucking station dude, after the commercials it's it's fucking NPR. It's just some liberal, left-wing, dem, socialist, commie shit. I mean, sometimes I listen to NPR, man, but when they start with the slant and the bent, and it's like, all right, here goes the bias, totally left-wing, fucking commie, socialist shit. That's when I tune out, man, and and I'm sick and I'm sick of fuck, dude. I'm not fucking with NPR, man. I just I can't fuck with them anymore, dude. And, and I'm tired of listening to classical, man, only to then later have to listen to fucking NPR. I'm tired of liberal fucking news. I'm tired of liberal media. I'm tired of the liberal narrative and the liberal fucking story. So I have tuned out. I listen solely, exclusively to conservative news media. Yeah, man. I'm just, I'm really fucking sick and tired, man, of having to hear... The, about the Trump bashers and the never Trumpers and, 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 and the story that Donald Trump is out of his mind and he's dangerous and he's psychotic and he's what is mentally ill and that he's a toddler in a grown man's body. I'm tired of hearing that shit from grown fucking people. These are the same fucking punks that wanted me to think that, that, that Obama was some type of messiah. These people are fucking fools. Okay. Very childlike, very immature, very fucking stupid. And the whole like relay, right? Like the relay shit where it's like one says it, then the next uh, network says it and they keep fucking, you know, ping pong, you know, and like, you know, pinballing the fucking little whatever it's called in the, in the, in the matrix. They just keep passing that shit along. Yeah, Donald Trump or something, and then the Donald Trump, and then the Donald Trump, and fuck Donald Trump, and, you know, impeachment inquiry, and impeachment inquiry. It's like, man, fuck you guys, for real. Like, fuck you guys, for real. I'm tired of hearing your fucking nonsense. Donald Trump will not be impeached. It's a huge waste of time for you to even think that he's going to be impeached. You thought that Hillary Clinton was going to win 2016. She didn't. No one is going to beat Donald Trump in 2020. He is not going to be impeached. You are not going to find any fucking dirt on him. And there is no cover up. These are all invented stories by stupid as fuck, childish, immature people like Nancy Pelosi and the squad, and all of their cronies, and Dianne Feinstein, and all these fucking morons. It's all contrived. All of it. Total nonsense. Total bullshit. I, one Sir Grove, have tuned out of it all because it amounts to nothing. Okay? I'm not part of your fucking camp. I'm not part of your band camp. I'm not part of your fucking stupid clique. And I don't 
want to listen to your stories. They're fucking fables. Fish tales. Tall tales. Fairy fucking tales. It's all just a bunch of BS. And I won't have anything to do with it. You know why? Because I'm a winner. And I'm on the fucking winning team. Donald Trump wins 2020. And don't pretend this time like it's a great upset and you didn't fucking see it coming and you had no fucking idea that Donald Trump was going to win. We've been telling you and saying it all along. You dem socialist commies fucked up. You went overboard. You went too far. You 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 did too much bullshit. Should have concentrated on being real, man, and grounded in fucking reality. Should have kept Donald Trump's motherfucking name out your mouths, basically, and just talked about how you were gonna fix the economy and you know overtax people and taxes, 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 more taxes, bigger government, bigger government, bigger government. Yeah, take the weapons, take the guns, seize the guns, seize the guns. Yeah, you should have just worked more on that. Yeah, because that's all you talk about. And, and and we live now in an America that mostly, mostly disapproves of your fucking narrative. Have you have, have you not figured that out yet? Have you not figured that out? It's unappealing. Hello? Hello? Okay, now go back to your Trump bashing. Have a nice fucking day.